right, friends, we are one-ish week into dinosaurs, and I have some thoughts and opinions to share with you. Before we get started, uh, if you guys did not see the flip through of dinosaurs, I will link that up here for you. I would maybe suggest going there, watching that first, so you kind of get an idea of how this unit is laid out, because some of the things I'm going to say here may not really make a lot of sense unless you kind of know how this unit works. So I'll put that up for you. Go check that out if you haven't yet. Otherwise, let's talk dinosaurs. I don't know what I was expecting with dinosaurs, to be honest. I, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. However, this was more than what I was expecting. Um, what is in here and the direction that Rebecca went with dinosaurs in this unit is really, really cool. So I was totally anticipating, I was expecting this to be science heavy because it's dinosaurs. So I had just thought that that's what we were going to be learning about. But she actually went more of like a history route with this, which again, I really appreciate because as you guys know, we did science and then 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 we were done with ready to read. Before that, we had done science with oceans and then we did science with creepy crawlies and then we had a break and we did artists and that was great. But then I had this thought that we were going back into science with dinosaurs, but we're actually doing history with dinosaurs. And it's just a breath of fresh air. It really is nice. We have been in our house. We've been on a dinosaur kick for close to a year now. Uh, my daughter's birthday party was dinosaurs. So we've been doing lots of dinosaur things for a long time. So to be completely honest, I was just not really looking forward to dinosaurs because we've just been doing all the dinosaur things <laughs> for so long. Um, but this is really cool. The, the way that it's laid out, um, I really appreciate these family devotionals at the beginning um, that it flows really nice. So before it was just a little prayer and we would say the prayer before we got started and then we just would read the lesson. Um, that was okay too. There was nothing wrong with that, but I do like this layout. It, this kind of, it's kind of an introductory section here leads you into this devotional scripture type passage here, and then it kind of dives down into the actual lesson. And I like that. I think it flows really well. Um, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I, and so we are enjoying that. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, okay. So I have to tell you guys in the discovery book, I was, I was looking forward to like the art pages cause I thought those were really cool and it's step-by-step -step art. Uh, that's not really included, at least from what I've seen, it's not really included in any of the other units, um, every day. Like there may be some parts of different units that have one section that's a step-by-step, -step. but look how cool. Like these things are just, and it gives her kind of lines, you know, guidelines to go off of. Like there's her little stegosaurus. And it's just, it's been really cool. And she's been having fun with these. Uh, and the notebooking page is easy for her to follow. Uh, it's nice to have this set out on the table and she just kind of fills it out as we go. Um, so far, I'm liking that. So far, I am not overly concerned with this notebooking page and then into the lesson. Remember, in, in Artist, I didn't really like how we couldn't mesh the two together. And I don't know what it is about this particular unit yet. We finished lesson five today, so kind of give you an idea. Uh, I don't really know what it is quite yet that makes it work, but it works. Like, I don't feel that I'm just reading and reading and reading. Um, 
and so it's nice that's that's been great so I don't feel that overwhelming I'm just talking and talking and she's not retaining anything and then we're trying to go and do this afterwards kind of deal maybe because she generally kind of works on this while we're doing it um I don't I don't really know how it works or why it works yet but it's working and I'm liking it so that is my thoughts on those the seat work journal let me grab the seat work journal for you guys because I am so stinking proud of my girl okay we have always done well we always try and do the seat work pages now in creepy crawlies and in artists the seat work pages were just in the appendix of the student book I think and it was one seat work page for the entire entire week so it was the same thing over and over which is okay um but what I really am am finding that I like with this seat work journal is that you're working on the same things they're just a little bit different each day so it's a little bit of a tweak each day so um and I like the layout of it this is really nice it gives her plenty of room to write and all of those things but I am really liking the spelling here and then she has to copy obviously the copy work and then the next day she cuts and pastes and then copy work again copy again now she has to trace and write now she's writing this by herself okay she's copying it by herself and then she's writing the words the spelling words by herself as well and then um today it was actually we started technically we started a new week today because it's really only set up for four weeks i mean four days a week so we started less or we did lesson five today so we're a little off but it's not causing any kind of issues because this is per day so we're in lesson five in here which means we're on day or lesson five in here and so it just moves along versus with the weeks you would think that it would work out the same but sometimes it doesn't or something I don't know that was the problem that we were getting into with creepy crawlies um this is so far this seems to work because this is not correlated with what's happening in the student notebooks or the teacher's guide either this is separate again just from what I can tell we are only on lesson five um but before we started our our lesson today we did no additional spelling practice okay just what was in here is what she practiced for spelling I ran through them she spelled every single one of them also on spelling the spelling words for the early reader in the seat work journal is 100% what I expected for her age and she got every single one of them correct um, now that may not always be the case you know I'm I'm sure there will be some in here that challenge her and that's fine but this is more of what I as I expected for her age versus creepy crawlies words were like it was it was crazy she, she was never gonna learn those in that amount of time but we have bell yell well sell doll hill pill dull and then th she gives them two um like commonly misspelled words and so we have has and do you guys like love it love that so simple and so easy and she got them again we did no additional practice we just did the seat work journal and that was that it, it stuck and she spelled every one of them right this morning to me so we really are enjoying this I'm loving the layout of this so far it's certainly working for us so far um, we did get to go on a really cool field trip there is a museum if you guys follow me on Instagram you saw some of the pictures from this museum but there's a uh, museum that's a few towns over from us I say over like 
there's it's a lot longer than we really had thought that it was going to be totally worth the drive it was so cool but they have a tiny titans uh, museum or exhibit right now so it's their dinosaur museum i keep saying museum it's a dinosaur exhibit at the museum the coolest museum i think i've ever been to outside of the smithsonian's uh in washington dc like Obviously, it's not to that magnitude or anything, but it was just really cool. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And what was really cool too was my husband was actually able to get the day off of work and we were able to do that as a family, um, which was really cool. That obviously is not something that uh, happens too incredibly often. Um, so it was really nice. We just had like a nice, fun family day going to look at more dinosaurs. So it was a great way to start the unit um yeah and we are enjoying it now i will say we are pretty much just doing the unit and just doing math um we will occasionally get a little bit out of our morning basket but we're just at the point um where we're just not in here much it's just that time of year for us and I'm, I'm finding we have this natural flow of school, like late spring through the summer into beginning of fall. And then we just naturally break off and don't really do a whole lot through the holidays and the first of the year. And so I'm thinking that's really what we're going to count as our break sort of, um, and just go really light and fun um, in the coming months. So, uh, this one, we're, like I said, we like it. We enjoy it. We're, we're having a good time with it. I'm liking the setup. I'm just seeing that it's really the only thing that's kind of sticking outside of math because we're just doing lots of other things. So that's how this week, uh, with dinosaurs has gone so far. So good. Uh, and I am excited to get through the rest of this unit. Um, yeah, I, I think this one's going to go well. So I will definitely keep you guys updated though. Uh, there will be an end of unit review for sure. So make sure that you are subscribed if you have not already. That way you can catch that review if dinosaurs is something that you may potentially be looking at for your students. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.